so hi friends so welcome to another innovative video of a very good function that has been released by xhorse so with the use of the key tool max you can now generate using the immo key data file that is a file from an immobilizer or ecm or bcm like the other devices do so creating a key from the dump so that is possible now with xors and xors is uh, made it very easy i would say with the new app function and the online file data upload and for india especially always the indian xors team rocks they have made a dedicated indian version for that all as well so here now i have a this is a minda unit uh, tata tata indica vista indigo mansa everything so here the ic you can see you have to remove the screw and open the locks which is already been done so if you remove the cap this is the ic 24 C zero four. So now we'll little bit, little bit clear. It's an eight pin EEPROM IC. So where you have to read the data. For this, you can use any of your EEPROM reading devices. That is UPA or BPROG. So whatever you want. Even you can use in your other OBD devices like XPad. OBD star whatever device any any device available in the market which can read in 24 series eprom okay so what i have done is to shorten the video i have already read the eprom using my eprom device and i have stored it in my computer already so there is no so so later part i'll upload that as well so now i have my file here so i have my file here so which is the tata files already here okay so let it be aside so to log in to your data you can upload so you will be given a cloud space for your xsource account that you are using so that is the concept for that you have to for that you have to go to the site i.xsource.com so let me zoom a little bit so as i am screening my laptop it will not be clear so this will be clear in your system or your key tool max itself so we will move on to that okay so switch on your device so select key tool max so it's hope i hope it's clear now so select key tool max go to special function immo data tool and go for file management first so in your file management you can see a quick login where the site address is provided i.xsource.com okay so this is how you open it up in your computer where well, it's already been opened you will get a qr code now scan for pc using the camera inbuilt in the key tool max you can scan your qr which i'm doing it right now so as it's been recorded it will take some time so as you can see the login is successful so and then you have to select confirm login confirm login so confirm login so now you are logged in so once you click confirm login 
so your account will be logged in so and slowly the page will open up so so as i'm screening my screen it will not be clear you will get some glare i'll try to avoid that so let it be so whatever it is so here it's my account shows my mobile number which is logged in here you can select english so the options will be now in english menu select the upload button so so i'll select my tata which i have read with my eprom device and once you select there will be a delayed response as it is communicating with the cloud server so wait for few minutes as you can see my first request is going on now so it's 0% now it will take some time so let me pause my video and yeah so not even a minute it has been uploaded successfully so once it is uploaded successfully 100% you can then see the file name here tada so you have the file name of your which is uploaded now you can close this and you can add as many you want to make a folder here for each brand or with your convenience of your naming convention what you usually give for the files so for it's like a demo now so i have my one file which is already loaded and i'll select log out now because the the part which you have to use your pc is now over so i am logging out now from my account and we will switch on once uh with the vvd key tool now so i have my key tool let me adjust my camera for that okay i hope it's clear so now so i hope it's clear now so what i'm going to do is so same imo data key tool imo data tool i'm going to select asia and i'm going to select tata indica as you can see from 2008 24z04 i'm going to select that and select load so my data so because once i have logged into my portal with my account and i have uploaded the data file so if you select the local file it is going to select from your device that is the key tool max either way we have transferred the file through bluetooth or you have taken from via obd using key tool i mean the obd connector of max so for that so this is my data which is the cloud data i have my tata 240 imo key bin the bin file now i'm going to select that as you can see that clearly shows it has two keys used and total keys can be stored as five so now what you can do is the key two is unused so i'm going to select the two 
3 so this is a XT27 super chip so I'm going to place it there let me yeah as you can see I have placed the chip there so I'm now going to give prepare dealer key so this will provoke for two options either you can use a blank 46 that is 7936 so always recommended original NXP made chip for 7936 else as I'll always Exos provides a better cheaper good quality one of the super chip which can be converted rewrite and as good as that so we'll give ok so what is the provoke it is being so if you want to write a new key data again you have to go to the uh, you have to this will give an output file and again it has to be returned to the EEPROM so to avoid that what we can do is so I will select the already used key data and now I will select prepare dealer key select VVDA super chip and before I give that you can note down the ID which is you can see the ID note down the ID which is here prepare dealer key use VVDA super chip select ok now yes you can see start making key yeah dealer key success now you can start the engine so it's very confident and now I'll select OK go to my home transponder clone and read the data as you can see the already used ID which was seen has been written to the transponder so now the work is over you can need not write the data back again to the EEPROM EEPROM here you can directly connect it to the car and you can start the vehicle using this chip so that's how Exos has made ease of our work very easy very good and soon they will be releasing the mini prog so hope I'll make a first video for that as well for reading the data directly from the emo okay stay tuned subscribe for more new innovative videos and for kudos to XORS for this bringing up this new update thank you